Hi, my name is Erzu and I'm a student here at UC Berkeley taking the IOR 190G class discussing the smartphone patent war. And for dessert, I usually have vanilla ice cream and a cherry on top. But today, I decided to have Belgian chocolate with an Android phone on top. I heard it's a delicious combination. And you ask now, what's the connection between these two? Why, am I, why this as a dessert? Why Belgian chocolates and an Android smartphone? And I'm going to let you know in just a second. Recently, back in August 2011, Google made a big purchase of Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion. And now the purchase is about to be approved by the United States Department of Justice this coming week. And it's also about to be per be approved by the European Union, the EU, where Belgium is the capital of the EU. And then China is about to approve of it, hopefully, uh, by March 20th. That's the deadline set for China. And now you ask, why did Google purchase Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion? There must be a financial incentive, perhaps. Google's going to make money, 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 profit, profit, profit by having Motorola Mobility. And after doing research, I found that's not the case. By Google owning Motorola Mobility, it's going to encounter 10% loss in profits. Yes, 10% loss in profits. And then you, then you think, OK, Motorola Mobility must be profiting off this. And the only way it'll profit or gain advantage by, through this purchase is if the, and the Motorola moves from making the Android smartphones of the Droid 1, Droid 2, Droid 3, and start making phones branding the Google name, making Google phones. But we don't know if that's going to happen, and we'll just have to wait for that. So then you ask, OK, then why did this purchase take place? $12.5 billion is a lot of money. And I found that Google is do doing this purchase in order to take a stand in the whole smartphone patent war taking place. It's trying to take charge and let the other players in the game know, like, we have a, we have a position and we want to have a dominant role in this whole world of smartphone technologies. And so the incentive to Google buying Motorola Mobility is that it gains access to Motorola's patent portfolio. And by gaining this access, it has all the, it gains access to all the essential patents dealing with video encoding and smartphones, which is very essential for the smartphone applications. And that's why Google is doing this. And also, another big player in the whole smartphone world is Apple. And Apple has gone after a lot of other smartphone companies such as HTC, Samsung, and Microsoft. And Google doesn't want to deal with lawsuits or litigations. It just wants to actually establish the sense of peace in the smartphone world by saying that litigation is not the solution. It's more like, let's be creative and be innovative. So I see this purchase as a symbolic symbolic move by Google saying that we want to, we don't want to deal with the lawsuits. We just want to be our own smartphone company, just be innovative and be creative and help meet user needs for the smartphone user. And we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen with the whole smartphone world and the war that's taking place. And even with this purchase, will Apple still make attempts to go after Google? We'll just have to wait and see. I'd like to thank you for watching my presentation dealing with Google smartphone technologies.